Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the 16th of April, doesn't mean that it necessarily has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So the reason why I paused while I was trying to remember what month it was <laughs> is because I kept, I wanted to say I went to November and then I said December. So interesting. This could, whatever we discuss today could have something to do with something that happened for you back in November or December, or um, some of you may want to go back. I have a playlist of morning coffee readings on my channel. Just go to the playlist tab, it says morning coffee on it and go through that list and look for some readings, maybe a reading or two, or maybe, I don't know, all of them, I don't know, but look out for some readings that catch your eye between the months of November and December, because there could be some messages in there for you. Yes. But yeah. Yay. Welcome to Morning Coffee. I hope you guys are having a good uh, morning so far. Um, or at least if you're watching this later on in your day, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a good week also. Um, yeah. I'm feeling pretty tired today. Like, I didn't get to bed that late. I was, like, around... I fell asleep around, like, 10 o'clock or so. Or, like, maybe 10.30. Um, and then I got up at 6. But today, I'm just feeling, like... Just tired. How are you guys feeling? Okay, anyway. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, I'm going to give this four shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for the day. One morning coffee for the collective daily reading, daily guidance, daily message, daily discussion, daily chat with spirit yeah last shuffle all right spirit so what do you want to discuss with us today what's going on in the collective today okay well i like this we have the queen of wands and we have strength we have that with the summer card the Queen of Summer. Ooh, I like this with strength. Okay, we have the Two of Winter. Okay, one more card, please. Just one last card, please, Spirit. And I don't think this Two of Winter is what you guys think it is. However, there are some cross watchers out there and the Six of Motherfucking Wands. I know that shit is right. All right, look. Um, this is definitely those, this is definitely for those of us that are strongly uh resonating as the feminine here okay it could very well be this is you being being very connected to your divine feminine or um feminine energy just in general energy and fe uh, feminine energy in general um but this could very well be individuals within the twin flame collective that are resonating strongly as the divine feminine um because I did hear that very quick, very clearly. 
very, very clearly. Divine feminine energy, okay? Um, we also have strength here. In this deck, strength is card number 11. In traditional tarot decks, strength is actually card number 8. But we do have 11 here. Um, and 11 is the number of the twin flame journey, twin flame activation, blah, blah, blah. We have the queen of cups the queen of wands the two of swords the six of spring in the center of all of that we have strength at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of spring or in other cases or in other words the nine of wands so here's the thing someone feels very sure of themselves very loving very caring um very emotionally connected very intuitively connected there's this feeling of honoring the self that I'm getting between the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. There is a level of compassion that has been cultivated for the self here with this Queen of Cups energy. There's this level of understanding, unconditional love, deep, deep caring and nurturance that you are, that you're really turning towards yourself. And not in all cases, it's not like you're being 100% completely super, uber duper selfish about it, but you're loving yourself first. You are putting your needs, your wants, your desires, your goals, your opinions, your, nece your necessities, I mean, I said needs, but you're putting all of that first. It doesn't mean that you don't have anything to give to others, but you are, not, you are no longer in this energy of draining yourself just to help others. With the Queen of Spring or the Queen of Wands energy, there is a strong understanding of who you are. There's a strong sense of activation. And also there's a strong sense of awareness of the mission of your goal, um, of your life's work. And that awareness of your life's work is another additive factor to you not allowing yourself to get burned out, um, not allowing yourself to drain your energy is nurturing yourself, caring for yourself first. The two of winter, which is the two of swords, is exactly what I thought it was. It is you or this individual keeping your blinders on for sure. Okay. And there's a victory that's coming because of that. You are feeling victorious or you are victorious because of all that. Because you're no longer, you're not there. <laughs> You're not letting distractions get in your way. And it's not and, and those distractions would be anything that makes you that causes you or would influence you to be other than anything other than who you are and or anything that would get you try and sway you off your path. Or at least uh, off the path that you're currently walking along, which is in fact the absolute right one. Okay. This is definitely energy of personal victory. Um, continue in this direction because like, don't give up, persevere, protect uh, nine of spring or nine of wands. And that card says, protect the fruits of your labor, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead, environmental conservation. I mean, at this point, and as, as far as you've been in your journey here, I don't think that any sort of possible challenges lying ahead would really surprise you. You're kind of prepared for it. And it's not even like you've psyched yourself up about it. It's like, no, you're prepared for it in the sense that you've been through a lot in the past. So, I mean, you're prepared. You've been through some shit, okay, on this journey of yours. This is beautiful, you guys. There's a strong sense of independence, happiness, contentment here. There is kind of, I mean, uh, this is kind of a solo energy. I feel like maybe you just, maybe either you're, or either you're single, okay, and you're not checking for anybody, even though there may be some people checking for you, but you're not really like, you're not even, you're not even paying attention. Or you are in a relationship with someone but you are very much independent. I mean, this is not a relationship reading. This is not something in which I feel really, we're talking about love or really, oh, 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 that reminds me. One of the things that I was picking up on in the very beginning of this that I actually, I got sidetracked and didn't say was, this is definitely, I, I feel like there could be some cross watchers here watching for this feminine energy, trying to see what's going on with her. It may, 
Jesus Christmas. It may be, it may be that there are some masculines out there or some counterparts out there that have figured out that they could watch readings to see what's going on with their counterpart. And so there could be some individuals watching this right now that are looking at this that are kind of like, oh, shit. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. That's kind of funny. Whatever, we're not even, I mean, whatever. Okay. <laughs> mm. All right. Let's get some, let's start clarifying. I want to start with the Two of Winter or the Two of Swords here. Oh, but I didn't really describe strength. The strength card in the center is you or this person that you're cross-watching for holding their strength. Like standing their ground, holding firm, standing strong in who they are, not letting anyone sway them. This is, this is definitely a level of self-mastery here. And there's quite a bit of unconditional love here definitely coming from the queen of cups that's being projected towards self which which is which also means that there's a lot there you're also putting that out there i don't want anyone to think that whomever this is resonating for is being extremely selfish and not really caring or being compassionate for anyone else around them that is not the case at all and part of this activation or part of this understanding that this person has of themselves is you know, yes i do want to be there for people that's part of my work, that's part of my life's mission, blah, blah, blah. But I finally understand that I have to put myself first in order to be able to be there for people, okay? Let's look at the Two of Swords. Now, let's understand. The Two of Winter or the Two of Swords has been coming out consistently all week. So what I feel like here is you have successfully blocked out some sort of fuckery, tomfoolish, tomfoolery, bullshit, BS, all that mess that you don't want to deal with. And it could very well be, this could have to do with your twin flame. This could have to be, do with a divine partner. You could finally have gotten to the point where it's like, I'm not even focused on that anymore. I don't even want to look at that anymore. You may have, you may find, you may find in certain situations or in certain moments that you have forgotten about this person altogether. I mean, obviously you haven't completely forgot about them, forgotten about them because you've gone through this, this time period where you didn't think about them and now all of a sudden they're back in your head. So obviously they haven't, you haven't completely forgotten about them, but you're not thinking about them. You're not obsessing over it anymore. You're not thinking about it the way you used to. If you do think about it, I don't think there's any real animosity or, 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 or anger anymore i feel like you've released a lot of this but the two of swords already feels like you just it, you you've blocked it out you've closed that door you've closed that window you closed the blind it's like you're not looking into it any longer and and, and those of you that are familiar with the two of swords energy and the the original depiction of it it's this it's a woman with two swords crossing her body and she's blindfolded and that's kind of really the image that i'm seeing the most it's like you're blindfolded you're not looking at that any longer and you're and you've blocked it what i just heard is you finally outgrew that challenge i don't want anyone to think that doors are completely closed they're not if things are in a, if things turn out to be in alignment later on down the road then there's always a possibility that that door could open up again so it's not like they're permanently closed but they're closed right now because they're because it because if it's but look if it's closed right now it is not in energetic alignment that's the only reason the only reason because the energies are not aligned the energies do not harmonize the energies are not amicable whatever but therein lies the victory, six of wands or six of spring, because you've elevated your vibration. You've, you've reached a higher level of, I wanted to say authority. That's interesting. Take that as it resonates for you. 
But, okay, two of winter, two of swords. What can you tell us about this, please, spirit? Okay, yeah. Oof. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. So the Seven of Wands fell out and is crossing the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is definitely a defense mechanism. I Like I said, you've blocked it out. Strength. It took a hell of a lot of strength to get to this point, okay? At the bottom... Ooh, oh, I told you, Justice is at the bottom of the deck. Look, if there are any doors that are closed, if there are relationships that are no longer functioning or if you're just no longer on speaking terms with someone or you're just you it, maybe it's not even that bad maybe you're not it's not that you're not on speaking terms or it's maybe it could just be that you just haven't spoken to them five 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 on the counter you haven't spoken to them in a while because the vibration has changed there is a barrier there are boundaries here the two of swords is an element is an aspect of boundaries for you okay you're blocking out this three of swords energy this heartbreak you're keeping that at bay again this is not personal this is not personal to any in in specific individual if if any if anything should be offended or could be offended in this i guess it would be energy because it's just it's just the fact that you are keeping these low vibrational heartbreaking type energies away from you that's all there is to it. Your vibrations don't match any longer. But therein lies the victory. Six of Wands. This is a victory because look, you're having the strength to woo, you're having the strength to see things clearly and change the cycles to open up to new possibilities, to move forward with destiny, to move forward with changing your destiny. And you change your destiny by realigning, changing your alignment, changing your actions even, changing what you put out in the world, right? The clear is, uh, the clear, the air is open, the space is clear. And that's great, and there's justice coming to you. This is justified. This is absolutely justified. There could be some situations where it's like, look, no, I'm just not going to talk to you. But again, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's malicious. I mean, there's some seriousness to it because in some cases this is like, no, I'm not going to talk to you because I am not, I refuse to feed your ego. I refuse to feed into this cycle. I refuse to feed into this toxicity. And you're right. No, it's not personal. But it's just, it's just that energy you're, you're flow, you're vibing with. So I can't, I ain't fucking with that. No, I don't care who you are. But that's justice being served. It's balancing the scales. It's justified. Let's talk about the Six of Wands then. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, first I want to talk about strength. Let's talk about strength. Because strength came out here. So what is the strength energy for us? Please, Spirit. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> the hanged man. Ooh, look at that change in perspective. Uh-oh. Ten of pentacles upright. Okay. Ten of swords. Ooh, ace of wands. All right, well, look. The ten of pentacles, the ten of swords, the ace of wands, and the star. Um, The ten of... Something, which is upright. The Ten of Pentacles should be upright. Okay. All right. Because this is a lesson learned. And what I'm getting with the Ace of Wands here, especially coupled with the Ten of Swords, it, this, this might be something that you were really extremely inspired towards, very driven towards achieving. The Ace of Wands is representing the incentive to go down this path to begin with. Whatever activated you down this path, this is very, it's, I mean, this very much could be Twin Flame energy. You don't know. This is a general reading, but this very well could be Twin Flame energy. Okay, that's fine. If it resonates for you in that way, 
take it as it resonates. If it doesn't, then take it however it resonates for you. But it, it, what this feels like here is someone was led down a path, was inspired to go down, to, to, to go on a journey, to go in a direction that felt right for them. But you, at, along that path, you may, have, you may have ended up feeling like you were duped in some way because it turned this path turned out to be very very different in actuality than you than you might have thought it would be than you might have envisioned it might be than it may have seemed or looked on the surface or in the very beginning which very well could be the twin flame journey okay cuz think about it this way you start out having this extreme activation and connection with someone but then that quickly turns into a shit show because of all the triggering and the deep, deep healing and soul searching and, and inner work that is required on this journey. And then you come out of it having completed, not everything I wouldn't say, but completed a major part of this journey and, out, and you come out of it with a change in perspective, the hanged man. You come out of it much stronger than you ever were before strength but you see coming with but part of that part of that strength is leaving that past behind which means potentially leaving the person that activated you behind never to meet again not exactly you never really know spirit knows your higher self knows but you're not focused on that anymore you're not checking for that anymore again Two of Swords, you've got your blinders on. So whatever this situation was for you, you have absolutely come out on top. And the biggest, the main, the most important reason, I will say, the most important reason why you have come out on top and you have completed this lesson, this life journey, whatnot, whatnot whatever, the hanged man, you've gained a change in perspective, a pretty massive change in perspective, I'd say. Yeah. It's changed your whole life, your whole trajectory, your whole understanding of things, of the system, and why things happen the way they do, why things work the way they do. Mm. And with this Queen of Wands energy, well, okay, look at this way. With the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, you have an individual that's mastering the law of attraction because I see the Queen of Wands as a physical embodiment of the Law of Attraction. With the Queen of Cups, you have someone who's mastering intuition and compassion and unconditional love. That is beautiful. Let's talk about the Six of Spring. Um, excuse me, guys. Okay, the Six of Spring, I wanna talk about that, but I actually wanna, I'm being, guided to use the golden universal tarot for that one so six of spring what is this victory so you this card says wonderful news is on its way Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. And I know this feels, this does feel like rewards are coming. And I kind of, that's actually what I'm feeling guided to look into. So let's talk about that. One last shuffle. And what, what can you tell us about this victory, the six of wands, these rewards that are coming our way here, please, spirit. What is the Six of Spring for us, please? Oh, damn. Three of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse. That looks like a jailbreak to me. You're free. Oh, Knight of Cups. The Sun. The Sun is in reverse, which is interesting. The Sun has come out twice. And here's the Seven of Wands again. This might be bittersweet for you. For some of you, you you're just now okay. For okay, so 
I'm getting that the main reason why this message is coming out now is because there is a massive um, group of us within this collective that are starting to reach this this level, this this stable, grounded, foundational period or, or space. And it's pretty bittersweet, at least at first. I have to admit, it does. It is a bit of a require of an unacquired taste. Not gonna lie, but once you acquire that taste, man, it is gorgeous, honey. Like it is so delicious. <laughs> um, but this is definitely a jailbreak. Three of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, Knight of Cups. Moving forward with Heart's Desire. The Sun is in reverse. I mean, it's not exactly how you wanted it. It's not how you envisioned it would go down. But ultimately, it's beautiful at the same time. Here's the Seven of Wands again. Five, five, five on the counter. I want to look into the sun. Why is the sun reversed here? Please, Spirit. Why is the sun in reverse here? Page of Swords and the Star. Okay, with the hanged man. All right, so this is you. This is you moving forward. And what I'm getting with this, you guys, is, well, my happily ever after didn't happen there. But that's okay, because I'm going to find it somehow. My wish fulfillment didn't happen there, but something tells me that it's not quite over yet for me. Something tells me that there's still something out there. And you know what? Damn it. I'm going to find it. Page of Swords with the star. That's why the sun is in reverse here. All you needed. Really, all you needed was this change in perspective. The hanged man. You needed to be put through this tough situation to break you out of the toxic cycles that held you back in the past. And now that you've broken out free from that, it's like, whoa. Okay, yeah, that, that was pretty shitty. Okay, yeah, my heart got pretty broken in that one. But, and this is a big but, I see so much differently now. I see so much clearer now. I see how endless the options or possibilities are now. I could literally go anywhere from here. Even, in, even though the sun is in reverse, it's always, no matter what, it's always a good thing. The sun is the best card in the deck, is the most optimistic card in the deck. So yeah, this is a bittersweet victory. But it was well worth it. It was well worth it. Wow, that's beautiful, guys. Ugh, look at y'all. Jailbreaking and shit. I love it. I absolutely love it. Alright, so. Um... What do I want to do now, guys? We want to get a closing message from Spirit using the Golden Universal Tarot. All right, so let's get some closing messages here for you guys now. Um, yeah. How would you like to close this out, Spirit? Okay. Whew. All right, look. Look, look, look. You have the Five of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups in reverse, but then you have the Tower. All right? This is Spirit's advice to you. Maintain your boundaries. Seven of Wands is back. Maintain your boundaries. Why, you ask? I'll tell you. Because the relationship that has ended, the circumstance that has ended... The circumstance that is kind of that maybe you cried over at one point or maybe you still may be crying over a little bit right now. Whatever about this makes this a bittersweet victory, right? 
Well, that shit was toxic. The Ten of Cups is in reverse here. And, excuse me. And that's saying that this was not the happily ever after that you thought it was going to be. This is not the, this is not the happily ever after that you wanted. It was preparing you for it. Because now you can see how false that was. And you can see all the falsities in future situations that look just like this. But you're not even checking for that anymore. Because your vibration is different. Your point of attraction is different. You needed to see things clearly for what they were. Before you can even ever hope and dream of reaching that Ten of Cups, that ultimate wish fulfillment. And a lot of that had to do with having respect for yourself. Enough respect to say, look, I love you, but this is toxic and I will not entertain this any longer. And be okay with that. And I just heard happily ever after comes next. Because now you are actively creating that happily ever after. So maintain your boundaries. Seven of Wands. Beautimus. Okay, so let's close out this reading with an Oracle card. We're using the Light Worker today. Yet again. All right. So, closing out this reading today. Card number two, 32, the uh, divine grace, the law of efficiency. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's time your life became easier. It's time for you to walk the way of divine grace with trust, simplicity, and acceptance. You do not have to try to make things happen. You can gracefully act without attachment and trust that all will be as it's meant to be. Surrender your struggles now as you allow life to serve you with love and kindness. This is the most efficient use of your energy and will lead to the best results. The law of efficiency encourages us to work smarter rather than always working harder. It is like learning to allow a wave to carry you to shore rather than swimming the entire way with your own efforts alone or even against the current, which would make the journey even harder. It is like planting a seed at the right time so nature will help it bloom in the spring rather than planting it during the dead of winter when it takes a lot of effort to keep it alive and even then it may not survive. This is the intelligence of the law of efficiency and divine grace at work. Mm. Uh, okay, the law of efficiency is also sometimes known as the path of least resistance. We must find the strength that comes from leading, I'm sorry, from letting, oh, but wait, but wait, the what? The, the what? The strength. Oh, we must find the strength that comes from letting go and trusting that the universe knows what it's doing. It takes spiritual maturity to cede to wisdom greater than your own immediate understanding. Then you are surfing the wave rather than swimming against the current. How efficient to work with life in its cycles rather than believing you must struggle to strain, I'm, str I'm sorry, struggle and strain to be heard, loved, rewarded, and inspired. You have that maturity within you. Trust now. Trust that all will come in time.
beautiful. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.